Good morning, I'm Amanda Brooks. I'm the Food Safety Director at Harrison Farms. Let's give you an example. So like in this field, let's say a thousand Canadian geese landed in here and we're eating all over this. How would you guys react to that? How would you deal with that? We would most likely not harvest. We would do a full inspection of the area and the contamination that occurred and we would not harvest any produce out of that field that had the potential to be contaminated. See, I don't think most people understand that. I don't think they realize how serious the farmers take food safety and and uh, that's amazing to me that, that you would forego picking a crop because of those contaminants and I, I think people need to understand just how committed the farmers are to that. Every employee on our farm is trained in food safety and we we understand that this this product is going across our country and and many families like our own are going to eat it and we feed it to our own family, so it's important to us that it's safe. So give us an uh, example of when the crews show up to go into the field, what kind of safety measures the, the actual pickers have to go through in order to get into the field and, and participate in the picking? They are trained in food safety. They're uh, trained specifically in harvesting practices. Um, their, their machines are cleaned at the end of each day. They um, have restrooms available to their employees with hand wash stations. Their equipment is cleaned and sanitized, uh, like the knives that they use. Um, they utilize hair nets and gloves. And another thing they do is if employees are not well when they show up to work or, or showing signs of any kind of illness, they are not allowed in the field that day. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that right? even though I'm kind of an amateur at this. Um, Amanda, why don't you come on over here and you can hold the knife for me. And I'm gonna hit my hands with the, the good stuff here. I'll let you have that. And so uh, I clean my hands here. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that the safety standards for the food are quite strict. And, and you, just can't, you just can't run off and walk out in the field because uh, the potential of you contaminating the field is very serious. And so um, what the farmers do and with the Green Leafy Association and all the standards they have, they make sure that when you go into the field to pick, that you follow certain regulations, health regulations, because they want to preserve and protect that food for you. You're going to walk over to the edge of the field. Now, I'm not going to go into the field. I'm just going to go to the edge of the field and show you um, what goes on here. And uh, you notice I don't have anything in my pockets. I don't have my lanyard on. And I'm not gonna actually walk into the field, but I am going to get the edge of this and cut that. Because I wanted to show you that beautiful romaine head. That's a Yuma romaine head. That's awesome. So you look at this romaine, you look at this, uh, this produce that I picked, you know, the farmers, they grow safe produce. Where in the world can you get better produce than right here in Yuma? And uh, that's what farmers are all about, is safe produce. Everything they do, everything they try and produce is based on safety. And that's why it's so important. So buy that Yuma romaine because it's safe.